What's going on, everybody, and welcome to another episode of, <laughs> excuse me, Junkyard Breaks. Um, as I said in my last video, uh, I recorded a lot of my uh, comic pull box videos, and sadly, there was no audio. Or there was audio on the intro, and then as soon as I went to my above camera, nothing. So, sadly, it's easier just to re-record these than to do voiceover on nothing. So, I will do that. I think I have like five videos I have to re-record for pull box stuff. But, this is what we got. Um, I don't even remember what week we got it, but this is what I grabbed this week. Um, so we'll start over here. This is uh, back issue stuff that I got. Um, this is new stuff. So War of the Bounty Hunters. This is the return of Dirge or the first appearance of Dirge in um, continuity. So this this is a pretty good book. I might have a couple in there, but first Dirge. Uh, Cult of Dracula number four. Star Wars Adventures: The Weapon of a Jedi number two. Cool cover. Amazing Spider-Man The Chameleon Conspiracy number one. Cool cover. Godzilla Rivals one shot. Power Rangers Unlimited number one. I'm a sucker for Tank Girl and Scotty Young so this is like you know a double whammy for me. Scotty Young and Tank Girl. So this is King Tank Girl. I think this is number five. Cool cover. You Promised Me Darkness, number one. I think this is a second, third printing. Cool cover. Shang-Chi, number two. The Electric Black, number one, from Black Caravan Comics. I, uh, Scout Comics also. Um... This is another one of those where I'm completely just drawn to the cover. I, I thought that was really cool, and the paper is nice. Uh, we only find them when they're dead, number seven. You Promised Me Darkness, number three. This is the cover A, first print. The Shield, number one, from Archie Comics. Captain America, number one. Cool Alex Ross cover. Red Room number two. Spawn number 319. I love this cover. It's the clown morphing into the Violator. Uh, Daredevil 31. I grabbed a bunch of these. You might be seeing this in other piles too. This is the first appearance of this serial killer. I don't know his name, but. Uh, this is already in a second printing, so uh, this is a good book to grab. Barbaric number one, nice Conan homage. Crossover number seven, I have not been reading this. I think I should. Uh, this is Department of Truth, number ten. Cool cover. I think I finally got the trade, so I can start reading that. And this is the back issue stuff that I got. Well, some of it is. So I got Secret Wars number one, Secret Wars number zero, the free comic book day. I did get another one. Okay, I thought I did. And then these uh, Thing and Wonder Man books I grabbed as a lot. I think I paid five dollars for the whole thing. One, two, three, four, five. Free shipping. Um, so the significance of this book is, uh, I think, either I have another video that was bad audio or I had said it before, but uh, these books have the first appearance of Dungeons and Dragons in them. It's uh, right on the, uh, the centerfold or off the centerfold. And uh, there you go. So this is the first advertisement for... Dungeons and Dragons in comics. It is an ad. Um, it's not a comic, but uh, this is uh, Guy Gax's first first appearance. Advanced Dungeons and Dragons from TSR. So, 
thought for, you know, a dollar a book, it was worth specking on it, giving it a shot. Dungeons & Dragons movie is coming out. I don't know if it's next year or the year after, but they are working on it. So why not? All they have to do is key collector name it one time, and then this is a $30 book, and I'll sell them all. <laughs> So I need to notice a difference. So we got a fifty cent. That's seventy-eight. These are two different versions of the fifty cent. They're not second prints. I remember they are. I'll have to look into that. We got three diamonds and two regulars. Anyway, they all have the ad, so that's it for now. Um, like I did my last video, I did a pick of the week. Um last video my pick of the week was X Factor number six first appearance of apocalypse this week my pick of the week and it's still pretty cheap man called Nova number one they are a hundred to hundred and fifty dollars raw high grade eight fives are gone over 250 nine eights are going for big big bucks but raw you can still get one for like a hundred bucks and Nova is coming he's gonna be coming so get your Novas now. They will be going for a lot of money a year from now, two years from now. Once they say we're making a Nova movie, that book's going to take off. So Man Cold Nova, number one, is my pick of the week for this week. 100 to $150 raw. Go get a copy now. Do it. Having said that, like and subscribe. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think of this week's haul. And... Um, like I said in the last video, I am selling at Meadowlands Flea Market every Saturday. Uh, my booth number is 1255. Come say hi. I, I love, like, I've met a lot of people, a lot of watchers. I've made a lot of friends. I'm having a really good time. Um, I always have 10 long boxes of comics and a ton of sports cards uh, and odds and ends, movie posters, whatever. So come by, say hi and uh, hopefully I'll see you. So um, that's it. I'll see you guys again next time. <laughs>